Our camera lens trained on one man. Four goals last time out. Can he light up the stage again? Don't go anywhere. This is EA TV. Hello, everyone. You know, some footballers enjoy a rainy day. Not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on live action from Liga. It is Montpellier against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the lineup for Montpellier. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint Germain. Kaylor Navas is the goalkeeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Nicolas Zule at the back. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. A potentially exciting match in store, and it's Paris Saint-Germain who kick off. Making sure it didn't get past him. Good tackle taken away. And that's a straightforward stop. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting oh, to see from him? Oh, can he finish it, Derek? A smart stop here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Can he finish here? Blocked it brilliantly. Constantly thwarted. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Mopping up defensively. Messi. Nicely saved. Fired over by Messi. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Well, from that position, it's a very good effort. Just inches away from being a brilliant goal. Christopher Julien. And a tidy tackle. And teammates around him. Opportunity it is. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. 
So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. And he's made headway. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, as you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. So the action continues. It's been all PSG so far, and you sense there could be extra punishment dished out. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas, and I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Perfect tackle. Oh, what an opportunity. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And here he is, Lionel Messi. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. An example of how to press. 
He has teammates around him. He's in behind. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Here it is now. A substitution. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a struggle to get it away properly. He takes aim. And no way through. Well, the delivery lacked a bit of guile. That's useful play. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Real chance. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, it's an out and out pasting. 6 0. Well, beating his opponent. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, we pride ourselves on being the home of football and we have more live action from Liga Uber Eats coming up for you. It's Montpellier facing Monaco. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Savanier. Trying to really get at the opposition here. The supporters want to see him have a go. A goal here! giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it
A quarter of an hour remaining here. Ben Yedder. And he's in. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, a good tackle. Well, in the closing phase here, and PSG excelling, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. That is how to apply the pressure. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances, we saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.